<laughs> Welcome back. Thank you for being with us. I am so excited to introduce our next guest. Andrea Quinn holds a special place in my heart and I know she will in yours too. Andrea changes lives. There's really nothing more to it than that. She works with women to look at where they are now and where they want to go and with no exception, we'll help you move forward. So I'm going to let her tell us all about it because we've got Andrea right here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so having. much for coming all the way down oh, and visiting with us. Well, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here and to be honored and to be speaking about women oh, and empowerment and women creating their lives and mm -hmm. recreating their lives and blooming over and over again. I think and that's, that's really important. And that's been thing. our conversation all day has been mm -hmm. about the next and the next. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you're in that space, you're living your life and all of a sudden it's time for the next. How do you know where to go? How do you know how to get there? And that's really your sweet spot is helping women figure out how to get from where they are to where they want to go. So how did you come to this? How do you do it? Tell us about everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I, I was fortunate to come up with a curriculum called the Quinn Essentials, mm -hmm. which is the nine tools to accomplish anything for women. And I'm so fortunate to have had so many women from the ages, of, from their 20s mm -hmm. to 70s. Mm. For, you know, some people need to start their lives, mm -hmm. some people need to recreate their lives. And mm -hmm. I think that it's really important, especially for women, that they give themselves permission to do it at any time. Yes. Because when you have that instinct that it's time to change, then you need to. Mm -hmm. But we don't know how. Yeah. So it's a curriculum of finding out support and to get, first of all, I think that one of the most important things is community. Mm -hmm. You have so to true. have community. You gotta, you gotta have your friends to back you up yeah. and to kind of remind you that you can do it and if you fail you, you're gonna eventually succeed and it's okay. And yeah, and I, mean, I, I need to read fail. your book obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not even, it's not even a fail, it's a fall. Uh, that's like, right. Sometimes that's right. it's just a fall down and Correct. you need somebody mm -hmm. there to help you get back up. Right, mm -hmm. and what happens we find is that we isolate mm -hmm. during those periods. And well, when we get it figured out, we'll get back up and then we'll go find our people. Absolutely. So but Silicon Valley has this, uh, and this is where I, my mind was when I said that, was Silicon Valley has a motto that says, fail fast and often. And so, I mean, obviously, they're the most successful, like one of the most successful groups of people in the world. Right. So I think that, that that's where I was thinking about it. But I, they pick each other up and keep yeah, moving on. Mm -hmm. And community. And mm -hmm. women, I think, need community more than anyone. I well, mean, I, mm -hmm. I feel that it's about like-minded humans. Mm. You know, I think we can be different, but if we try to see things in the same way, when you find your people, which is what I talk a lot about, mm -hmm. You can do anything. Mm -hmm. It's about not allowing yourself to isolate so you could try to figure it out by yourself because you're either embarrassed or you can't believe it happened to you or you don't share your issues. Mm -hmm. If you have an issue, somebody else probably has it too. Yeah. And That's it's really true. important for you that to be honest and transparent. And as you start sharing yourself with others, others will start sharing themselves with you. That's so true. But it is hard, I have to say. It is hard to be like, I suck at this. I am terrible at this, like I really like made a mistake. It's hard to be vulnerable like that, right? Well, it is, <laughs> but <laughs> it is, it's hard. It, it is, but I, I'll tell you, I have a little cure for that. Mm, okay. Um, I teach a tool on self-acceptance. Mm. And self-acceptance, it's not here's where you're good, here's where you're bad, you have to love the whole package mm -hmm. or even accept what's wrong. Mm -hmm. I think the secret to a great, incredible life and the permission to start over again is mm -hmm. what am I good at and how do I do more of that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. See, your job is to do more of what you're already good at. Mm -hmm. It's an effortless life. I love the word effortless. Mm -hmm. you know, I take Pilates so I can lay down. Like, I don't, I'm not, <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not all about, it. it's not all about this, you know, working, you know, yeah. some people want to work hard, great. It's just, you know, yeah. I'm all about, what am I already good at? Yeah. I'm really good at laying down. I right. love that. You know, it's like, what am I really good at and how do I expand those things? And what happens, especially to women, is we have this list of every place we don't measure up, mm -hmm. every place we've messed up, everything we don't have, everything we don't weigh, everything we, you know, yeah. all That's of the, so true. that list. And if you can know that that list is never going to get fixed, because mm. really the truth is your magnificence that's it. Mm -hmm. And I have a saying on my site, which is the only truth about you is your magnificence. Mm -hmm. mm. Everything else doesn't matter. It's your secret to success 
in creation or recreation of yourself mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. what am I already good at? And you know, especially when you ask that to women, they don't know what they're good mm -hmm. at. They just know what they want to improve. Interesting. And so when you begin to think in those terms, I have women that just look at me and they're, I don't know what I'm good at. I'm like, isn't that good to know? Because hmm. if you don't know, how's anybody else supposed to know? I guess that's true. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. It's that list of, stop that list of mm -hmm. where you don't measure up. I love that. I love where it, you know, it's that effortless life. In fact, I was, it reminds me of a study that I just barely read about how when you focus, a lot of times like in careers, people focus on what you can improve mm -hmm. on. And if you shift gears as a manager, for example, and you focus on putting people in the place where they can just go with their strengths, yep, correct. it makes such a huge difference. So I love what you're saying about this. This is wonderful. And yeah. one of the greatest things I learned from you was just to breathe. That mm -hmm. literally the feminine power is in stopping, taking the breath in, and then allowing the creativity to come out. Mm -hmm. It's very much that. what we talk about in slowing down mm -hmm. and being mindful and mm -hmm. being not feeling like you have to do anything, mm -hmm. but just by being mm -hmm. who you are, you are already creating what you need to create. It's true mm -hmm. because uh, females, and I do a lot of lectures and a lot of mm -hmm. classes on this particular topic, are receivers. Hmm. They're not doers. Hmm. Doing puts a female at the disadvantage. Doing is a well, male. Tell, tell me more about that. Why does it put, put us at a disadvantage? Because we are to receive first. We hmm. receive seeds, treat, create children. Hmm. We're the receivers. We're the receptors. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when you take the in-breath mm -hmm. and then you create, that's feminine power. Feminine huh. power is in creativity, not in doing. And when a woman is in doing, she's at a disadvantage because she's not as powerful because she hasn't taken the energy in so she can take the en put the energy out. I've never thought of that before. That is really cool. And that makes a huge, it made a huge difference for me wow. in terms of how I approached anything. Huh. And since that time, and that's been almost 10 years now, Yes, almost. everything has changed. Wow. Everything. I mean, I even moved to California. <laughs> that is a big change. You, you really did. did. Because like I went from the, the most masculine city in the world mm -hmm. to one of the most feminine mm -hmm. energies in the world mm -hmm. by just crossing the continent and That's being so able true. to receive what is here that mm -hmm. I didn't have when I was there. Not that it wasn't good when I was there. Right. It just no, was time for the change. Yeah. And, and it's not about women not being powerful. Mm -hmm. See, we're powerful in our creativity. Mm. We're creative beings. Men are creative their way. Mm -hmm. But they're, I believe men and women are different in the way that men create out of service. And women create after receiving. But it's a whole conversation that I get into with men and women. This is so interesting. It's an amazing I'm like, okay, how many more hours do you have? <laughs> right? Well, let's talk about that because I know we used to do the coaching programs at night in your living room. And then, and then at the spa. <laughs> then I moved it to, then I went to the spa in Hollywood. Right. right. Now I'm doing weekend seminars. So talk to us about that. How can people find you and how can they get involved? with Andrea Quinn Coaching and The Quinn Essentials. Well, The Quinn Essentials is my program, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be doing um, a weekend seminar on all the nine tools that I teach, um, and I'm also in the process of my book, The Quinn Essentials, Nine Tools to Accomplish Anything for Women. Mm -hmm. um, I also do the nine tools of business, so mm -hmm. I do the business tools for men and women, mm -hmm. but primarily my classes are for women. And so what I do is a weekend seminar in Santa Monica. It'll be April 21st and 22nd. Mm -hmm. And um, it, we will be two full day seminars uh, covering topics like this. Mm -hmm. um, and I call them accomplishment groups because I like women. Women accomplish. Accomplishments feel broader mm -hmm. than goals. Goals yeah. are the things we haven't reached. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't even use that word. I don't use the word diet budget or goals. Those things are Those out. are like my main three words <laughs> in my vocabulary. Those I need to do those words. <laughs> I need to go to your seminar. That's what I've learned today. Yes. That is so. amazing. And then, so you're doing these events and then you have the opportunity for people to stay connected in the community Correct. remotely, right? Correct. So then mm -hmm. after the weekend, if they choose, they can uh, be with me for nine weeks on mm -hmm. a digital Zoom class where we log on for an hour and go deeper into the tools. And then after that, they get put into a really incredible 
um, powerful, as you know, yeah. face private Facebook community of women from all over that just wow. help each other. Hundreds and hundreds of women. They just help each wow. other. Yeah. No matter what they need. They just from the new mm. graduate to the grandma, I mean, uh. and everything in between. And what I love about the format, because at the time I wasn't even living here, mm -hmm. but I was commuting, mm -hmm. so I would go up to the sessions in Studio mm -hmm. City. But there were people coming from San Diego, from Del Mar, from mm -hmm. here, from Orange County. Mm -hmm. People flew in for these things. Now that you have a remote format, it's genius yeah, because it's now even there's even no easier. limitation to reaching you. Right, I get hopefully start in New York soon, in San Francisco, and so Chicago, fun. and get the word out there um, about you know empowering women in what I believe their real, their truth is, wow. and, and so it's um it's been 10 years it was 10 years last week yeah. it was my 10th anniversary of teaching these congratulations thank you okay and so we go to andreaquinn.com andreaquinncoaching.com Andrea or Quinn i Coaching. have a special little site mm -hmm. uh, for the women's group called the quinn essentials.com okay. and you can get there through either, either and we can site. find all the information there all the so information we'll put those sites we'll put this up, up on the screen, screen so and we can be able to find you thank you okay. Okay. Right. thank you so much for being with us andrea i'm so happy to see you such thank a you. pleasure so you Thank with you. all of our viewers. Thank you. So I can't much. wait to go do my weekend reading now. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs>